Hey, when will I be YouTube famous? I don't know, probably never. What I do know, I'm still Angie. This is still 4F Beauty and you are more than welcome. Okay, so today we're using my little notebook of knits. Yeah, I heard how weird that sounded too. But in here, I've got a list of different things to talk about. One of them, which you will have seen from the title, the thumbnail, the description, if you read any of it, are things that YouTubers made me buy. These are things that I either hadn't necessarily considered or was in two minds about and the enthusiasm of certain YouTubers tipped me over the edge and made me click Add to Cart. Rather than drag all the items out and risk dropping them, I'm going to just put pictures up on screen. But, if that interests you, Sam is here to confirm you have the best seat in the house. And it's now time to grab a drink, grab a snack, put your feet up and get comfy. Because here it comes. Right. There are ten items on this list. I could probably list more. Uh, so if this does interest you and you want to see another one of these, just let me know in the comments section below. <clears throat> right. First thing that a YouTuber made me buy is the ELF Hello Hydration Cream. Now, the YouTuber who made me buy this was Emily Noel. And the reason I bought it, I'd been wanting to try the Bobbi Brown Enhanced Face Base that so many YouTubers rave about. But, 60 quid a pop? Mm, yeah, that, that's, that's, no, not for a cream, no. Not when I can use Olay or yeah, something else that does exactly the same thing for significantly less. But Emily was doing a I Found Dukes of High End Products film, and one of those products was the Bobby Brown Vitamin Enhanced Face Base, and the dupe that she said was this e.l.f. Hello Hydration Cream. So. I think it's about 12 quid, so I picked one up to try, because that's far more in my wheelhouse in terms of pricing. And I really like it. Um, I tend to use it as a night cream more so than a face base, because I've got oily combo skin, and I moisturise in the morning and then have to wait a good hour or so before I can think about putting primer and makeup on otherwise it just slips straight off again. Um, so this Elf Hello Hydration Cream I wouldn't necessarily use as a primer. However I could see if you did have dry skin that it probably would act very well as a primer or as your morning moisturiser. As I said I, I prefer to use it of an evening because it is that much more emollient. But I'm about halfway through the pot now, and unfortunately, Hubby's just discovered how moisturising it is, because he had a, a dry patch on his face. So me being me, was doing my my nighttime routine. So I'll come here and just rub some of this cream into his face, and 
uh, he now has decided that he quite likes it too. So I'm going to have to make sure that uh, I keep an eye on the levels of it because I get the feeling if he gets a dry patch again, because obviously he works outside, he's on a forklift, um, his skin can get very dry, especially in, in cold winter winds and hot summer months. So, yes, but I can definitely recommend that. I really like it. I don't know if it is a good dupe for the face base, because obviously I still haven't tried that. The second item that a YouTuber made me buy is Urban Decay Naked Honey Palette. Regular viewers know I'm I'm not really a neutrals girl. So when I first saw this I was like, ugh, yeah, whatever. It came out round about the same time as the ColourPop Aha uh -huh, Honey, their nine pan uh, monochromatic yellow palette which I bought so I really wasn't fussed by it and then Teresa is dead raved about it more than once and did a look with it and then raved about it a bit more and I found myself at two o'clock one morning in a lot of pain someone was selling it on Depop for a sensible price so I bought it and now it's one of my favourite palettes, even though it's a neutral one. I know, I know, I know. Looking at this today, you're thinking neutral? You? Really? It happens occasionally. Uh, the third item that a YouTuber made me buy was the Natasha Denona Love palette. Now, I'd wanted to try Natasha Denona for a while, and I'd got two of her little five pan palettes, the ones that are slightly longer than a USB stick, you know, the 25 quid ones or whatever they are. I'd got the uh, the Mini Tropic and the Mini Gold palette, and I liked both of those. But I was like, I don't really see why she charges, you know, 65 or 129 or 229 quid for her bigger palettes, because, you know, I've... I've I've got shadows of this quality, meaning the little ones, um, from other brands, significantly cheaper than that. And people were like, ah, oh, but you have to try one of her bigger palettes, the small ones are a different formula. And I'm like, right, okay. So I was looking at the 65 quid range, because I'm like, oh, it's kind of in my ballpark. And I knew that there'd be some coming up on Depop for around about the 40 quid mark, you know, 30, 40 quid mark. And Samantha March raved about the love palette and raved and raved and raved and raved about the love palette. So I ended up buying the love palette. I'm still not entirely convinced that it's the be all and end all when it comes to um, formulas, but maybe I need to try one of the 129 buck ones, but that would involve a lottery win. Or someone on Depop selling something that they don't know what the value is. <clears throat> right, the fourth item that a YouTuber made me buy this is the one thing that I don't still have. I do have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy, but I don't have the Wet n Wild Original Photo Focus because I'd almost used it up and what was left had finally gone off, so I chucked it. But it was Tati uh, who got me wanting to try that in the first place. She used to put um, films up five days a week, Monday through Friday, and she used to test a lot of drugstore and cheaper end makeup, and she raved about how good this particular um, foundation was, and she couldn't believe it was only five bucks, and it's a lot more expensive than that over here, but then what isn't in the UK? 
but as soon as I could get hold of one I picked it up to try and yeah I agree I do like the formula I prefer the dewy formula because although I'm oily combo and matte foundations last longer on me I'm gonna be 47 in about six-ish weeks so um, <clears throat> matte foundations not always that flattering uh, I don't just have dimples to worry about let's just put it that way so because I don't tend to wear makeup for a significant number of hours anymore I've still got um, matte foundations you know I've still got my um, Long comb, Tang Tai Doll, 24 hour. I've got my um, Too Faced, Peach Perfect, and Born This Way. I've got my Fenty. Um, I've got Mac Studio Fix. It's kind of a satin though, but it does last longer. But I tend to go more for satin or dewy finishes which I then powder the heck out of which is what I've done today I've actually got um, Becca Aqua Luminous on today I'm gutted Becca are going um, I do like their primers especially their purple one the old uh, first what is it they call it first light priming filter um, like their foundation, like their highlighters. Um, it's just the old flying saucer shape really just grabs my attention, but that's not what we're talking about, is it? Um, so, yeah, Tati got me into the original Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundation. Number five in the list, we're halfway there is the Pixie Glitter Quad I went for the blue ones and it was uh, my friend Angelica Lirma who got me interested in that one um, she was reviewing her uh, favourites and fails for a particular month and she said that she really liked those um, they're all pressed glitters but sure you can use them without needing a glitter primer underneath them, they're that good. I would never use a glitter without a glitter primer anyway, because I'm blind in one eye. I have no wish to scratch the cornea of the other one with an errant piece of plastic, regardless of how pretty that piece of plastic may look. Um, but yeah, I've I bought that, I still haven't used it yet. Really must get around to using it, but bought that because of a YouTuber. Right, moving on to number six. Oh, if you're wondering, because I always go, I hate pressed glitters in a palette. I don't mind a pressed glitter if it's just pressed glitters in the palette. I don't like seeing pressed glitters in a eyeshadow or pressed pigment palette because nine times out of ten glitter is the herpes of the makeup world it ends up in every shade in that palette the minute you touch it or the minute the surface gets disturbed um, that's why I don't like them in a mixed format palette right number six are Pat McGrath shimmers um, obviously I've heard an awful lot about Pat McGrath I would love to try her Divine Rose 2 um, palette especially since she re-released it in the rose gold packaging and I'm like oh I wish I could have the money there to go and buy that or have someone sell it on Depop for less than 80 quid you know um, but I've got a lot of mattes that I like and she released these small, two small palettes, one with um, sort of golds and bronzes and browns and one with um, colourful 
shimmers in, just five shades, tiny shades. Um, so I picked up the colourful one just to see what her shimmers were like, to see whether they really were that good. Are they better than, you know, this one that I've got on my eyes today, this duochrome from VE Cosmetics, which is stunning. You know, is it... Are the Pat McGrath shadows worth paying that amount for, or am I better off sticking to indie brands that I already use? Um, so many people have raved about Pat McGrath, I really couldn't tell you who it is that really got me wanting them. I think it was an amalgamation of everybody raving about them that got me wanting to try these, but I did buy them, they're okay, but as I said, no better than some of the indie brands that I bought from and at the end of the day. I'd rather buy from the indie brand. Number seven on my list is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy palette. Wasn't fussed about this at first. Wasn't sure why they'd suddenly added two extra shades to it. Why, why would you do? Why would you do that? Um. But Paulina, Paulina absolutely loves this palette, so much so she's hit pan on quite a few of the shades. Now given the amount of makeup that woman owns, for her to hit pan on something, oh, you know she likes it. So um, I just had to buy it to find out what the fuss was about. and. Yes, I agree with her. It is one of the better ABH. My favourite ABH palette is still the um, the reformulated subculture. If you're not sure, if you look at the label on the back, if it's only got like about four or five lines of ingredients, that's the one that doesn't blend, goes patchy, difficult to use, really, really dusty. If you look at the one that's got multiple, multiple lines of ingredients, that's the reformulated one, which blends beautifully. Uh, but yes, the ABH Amrezy palette, Paulina, I blame you 100% for me owning that. And the next item on the list, number eight, Hourglass Dim Light. And the person responsible for that, Seeking Alexandria. She uses that so often. If you put too much blush on or too much bronzer on or you're looking particularly powdery, she goes over it with the hourglass dim light and everything seems to soften down and blend into it. It's like a soft filter for the face. Um, so I saw it on Depop, so I was selling it for about 20 quid and I thought, oh, I'll give it a go, see what it's like. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> I really do like it. I, I, it, it gives like an ethereal, if, if you're going to go anywhere where you're going to be lit by candlelight, that is your best friend, trust me. It makes you glow like an angel. Although you then are expected to behave like an angel, which, unless it's the hells or the fallen variety, I don't really fit the description very well. Right, item number nine, nearly at the end of this first list, is the Smashbox Hoodwitch Highlight. Packaging is stunning. Then you open it up and the highlight is even more stunning. And the person I blame for that is 90s love child, Soraya. This is your fault, darling. She was going through um, doing a declutter of all of her highlighters and she showed this one and I was literally... My, you know like on cartoons where their eyes come out on stalks? That was me when I saw that 
um, highlight so I just had to have it and uh, I, I went out and bought it so Ryan this is your fault but thank you it's beautiful and finally the last item on my list that I purchased because of a youtuber is the BH blueberry muffin palette I was resisting I was being so good and then Ari Lynette put a picture up of it on Instagram and some swatches and my heart went Ooh. and my brain went Ooh. and my wallet went oh no no okay so yes, I ended up buying the Blueberry Muffin Palette because of my friend, Ari Lynette. So, that's my first ten. I bought these because of a YouTuber list. As I said, I could probably do an even longer list. Um, so if you enjoyed this and you want to know which other items I've bought because of YouTubers let me know in the comments and I will pull together a second list for you um, I'd also be interested to know A. Have you bought anything specifically because a YouTuber recommended it or B. Have you bought something because I recommended it I know a lot of you have bought the slush palette from September Rose using my discount code um, and I know a lot of you I believe have bought the uh, Crime Pebble Eye Primer using my discount code from them. Um, all my discount codes are listed in my description box and I only offer a discount code for companies who I consider ethical and that produce great products. Okay, I've turned down a number of discount codes from a number of different companies who I wasn't prepared to put my name behind. So, let me know if you've bought anything because of me. I would really love to know that. I really, really would love to know that. Right, if you're one of my 4F babies, please double check you're still subscribed. YouTube do keep unsubscribing you, but they're leaving my films in your recommended, so it's not obvious that you've been deleted. Um, it's also worth double checking, not just for me, but for all the channels you follow your notification status because mine keeps getting knocked back to personalised rather than all so I, I just don't get emails anymore which is frustrating as hell um, yeah so double check those uh, if you're new here however and you've tripped over me completely by accident hi, hello, welcome I hope you enjoyed it here um, this is pretty much the kind of thing you get from me. I waffle even when I'm doing makeup tutorials and yes there is a tutorial for this look. If it's up already I'll link it in the description. If it's not up yet keep your eye out it'll be up soon. Um, I waffle on about everything and nothing in particular. My fibro fog, my brain goes for a walk sometimes, it usually comes back but not before you've seen me stumble over words and trying to find... I forgot the word foundation one day, that was interesting. Especially as I was doing a foundation review. Uh-huh, perfect timing, huh? But if you've enjoyed this and you want to see some more, it'll be awesome if you'd like to join the 4F family. We are the nicest family on YouTube and it's super easy to do. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button Turn it from red to grey, then you ring my bell. 
ring my bell and choose all notifications in the hope that YouTube pull their finger out and actually send you some. In the meantime, if you're looking for some me time, as well as a rather ample backside upon which I'm currently perched, I have a very ample back catalogue of films. <laughs> yes, I know, that was a very 70s segue, but I'm that old. Um, I've got tutorials, collabs, challenges, tags like this. Um, I even read you my favourite poem in one of them. So, you know, as I've said now, for what feels like forever, grab a drink, grab a snack, put your feet up, pick a playlist, get comfy, and just indulge for a bit. Have some me time. Unplug from the world. You deserve it. Go on. Right, my darlings, as ever, all that remains for me to say is you'll stay fabulous and I will see you next time. Bye for now.